Agent Colvich. Sean, please. Sean. Irish mother, Croatian father. I see. You? American. Well, we're all American. Agent Colvich. I'm sure you're well aware of why we're here. Actually, I don't have a goddamn clue as to why I'm here. You've opted not to have a lawyer present. Don't need one. Very well. So, Miss Montero, you involved with someone currently? Excuse me? I <laughs> don't see a ring on your fingers, so it's safe to assume that you're not married. Agent Colvich, my relationship status is none of your concern. You understand that you are being investigated for falsifying information, coercing a local police officer, entrapment, and the death of a federal suspect. I mean, these are very serious offenses. And they sound very serious. But seriously, I know a very quiet, intimate Italian restaurant, a couple blocks, walking distance. The food, it's to die for. Okay. I'm done here. You got that fat file there, right? It's got everything you need to know about me. So what do you want? You want a confession? You want me to spill my guts? You want me to tell you that I did all those things? Is that what you want? What I want is for you to stop mocking me. What I want is for you to take your situation seriously. What I want, Agent Kolvich, is to help you. You want to help me? Yes. <laughs> what makes you think you can do that? Because I know you're a good agent. And a good person. Ah, uh, but here's the thing, Miss Montero. Janice. I'm not a good person. Because from where you're sitting over there, everything's very black and white. And according to the information you have in that file there, I've done some bad things. Good people don't do bad things. But from where I'm sitting over here, everything's not so black and white. There's a lot of gray area. So much so that after a while, gray is all you see. Sean. This isn't simply a matter of black and white and gray areas. This is about rules and regulations and protocol and breaking the law as a means to an end, even if that end feels justified. Do you understand? I do. But what I don't understand, and maybe this is something you can help me out with because that's what you're here to do, right? Why is it that the person in question, a longtime drug trafficker, with ties to some of the most insidious crime syndicates in the country, who's been under federal surveillance for how many years now? Who just recently upgraded himself from a nickel and dime operation to that of human trafficking and kidnapping, that of two minors. Why was he allowed to operate for so long with impunity? I'm afraid that that information is classified. Classified. Well, I guess that explains why everybody from the AG's office all the way to the janitor at headquarters is protecting the rights of a dead scumbag. So how about it? Are you up for some Italian? 